When you choose to clone your voice in 11 Labs, you actually need a program that you can use to create that voice. Um, and what you do here, what I do, is I actually use what's called Audition. Okay, and in Audition, all I need to do is just click on Waveform and give it a title. Go ahead and click OK, and you have the waveform here. Then all you need to do is just click the red button here and start recording. The rain in Spain grows mainly in the plain. It doesn't matter what you do, you can always count on you. There we go. Great. Then you just say stop. Now you have a lot of blank spaces in here, and what you can do is just click at the beginning of the blank space and highlight it and drag it across and click delete. You delete those blank spaces. Well, it depends on where you are. And you go through and you, you edit it as you go. Make sure you're not deleting something you need. Might need a blank space between some of these. Not there. We're going to go ahead and take some of these blank spaces out. Then you just click delete. Because you need about 30 seconds. So if you have more than you need and you have a lot of blank spaces, take out some of those blank spaces. And um, it'll work better for you. You go ahead and drop it down to that 30 seconds. I usually start out with a minute. Go ahead and do this one too, right here. Click delete, bring it back. Okay. And then after you've done that, go up to File, Save, Save Your File. Find the folder that you want to save it to. I'm going to go ahead and browse. I'm going to save mine to MP4, MP3, excuse me. Go ahead to audio where it says audio MP3. Click the button there. Click OK. I already know where it's going. It's going to Brian's Clone Voices. Okay, folder. Go ahead and click OK. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. And in a few seconds, you'll have this voice that you can use in 11 Labs. Then you go over to 11 Labs, open it up. You have your information in there. Go ahead and go to Voices. Add a new voice. Instant clone, voice clone. I don't know if that was a long enough or not. Let's just say, I don't know if that was 30 seconds. Okay. So once you've gotten here, you go ahead and say Brian's second voice. Again, make that same, call it the same thing. Okay, our practice voice. You can either record your own or pull in your own. We're going to go ahead and drag our own in. But we also have this um, public service announcement. To confirm that I have all the necessary rights to clone this voice, make sure it's yours or somebody else's. Make sure that you are generating a voice legally, not illegally. Not trying to clone a voice to make someone look bad or trip them up or to make them miss out on something. It's just wrong. So we just go ahead and click the hereby button there and this will light up as soon as I get the uh, voice in. Okay, I don't have the voice in yet, but I, I know that it's done um, saving. It's already saved. Okay, so this one should be in my downloads in my Brian's Clone Voices folder. And Brian's second voice. Now, this may not be long enough, but we can drag it over anyway just to see. Okay. Looks like Brian's clone voice works. Okay. Oh. Okay. Good. You can add any labels you want to add to it if you want to. Um, but we're going to go ahead and, or you can describe it here in this section. Like I said, this turned black. Now we can go ahead and do it. Go ahead and make sure you check the I hereby confirm. Otherwise, it won't it won't lighten up anyway. Or it won't connect. So let's go ahead and click Add Voice. All right. Now let's go back over to Speeches. Going back over to Speeches and let's find that voice. Find second voice. Click on it. Okay, it's here. Let's go ahead and generate speech. We're going to generate uh, 
Again, where is it? It's always late. That's fine. Do that. And click generate voice. Okay, that's my voice. It went on. It did it. I can add anything in here now and make myself say whatever I want to say. Like the rain in Spain. Spain. Or mainly. Mainly in the plane. P L A I N, yeah. So mainly in the plane. Okay. It'll put in what you say. Okay, we'll go ahead and make Spain with a capital S. Okay, let's go ahead and generate this again so that you know that it is me. Great. Isn't that great? Okay. You've generated and cloned your own voice now. You know how to create it. Go ahead and create it inside of Adobe Audition. Go ahead and save it as an MP3. Then go ahead and open up your 11 labs. Go ahead and generate your clone. And then drag that same voice in here. Then you go ahead and activate it. And you are good to go. So anytime you want to make a speech, it'll always be perfect. You don't have to keep running over and over and over and over again, making mistakes and trying to complete it and trying to fix it. Now, the only time you need to do that is if you're, you know, live. But if you're going to do create videos and that kind of stuff and you want background to talk to tell them, the story or read a story or something like that this can do that for you okay awesome hey guys have a great day just wanted to share that with you and see you in the next one don't forget to like subscribe and share all right also check my description for my link to my store so if you find anything in there that you like go ahead and grab it because it helps generate income to help me keep doing this all right guys take care and have a great day Bye bye